Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, March 23rd. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, also, I'm still doing a giveaway, so if you want to enter into the giveaway uh, for a personal reading, all you have to do is leave a comment down below. But Pisces, let's see what is going on for you for this week of the 23rd. And uh, let's keep going here, Pisces. And uh, it looks good for love, by the way. So I do like that. And that's you. So yeah, it uh, looks good. Uh, all right, Pisces. Uh, if you don't know already, the way I do these readings is a nine card spread. I do uh, past, present, and future. In your past position, your first card here is a magician with a three of wands. Yeah, trying to manifest things in a lot of ways. I, I feel like maybe for some of you, especially in work or business, it's like you could have been experiencing almost like steps. Like maybe you would have a job, maybe it would be okay, and then, um, but maybe then you'd get your next job, and maybe your next job would be a little bit better. And um, you know, maybe that lasted for a while, then you get your next job, it's even better. Like it feels like kind of like graduated steps of improvements is what's popping into my head. Very weird message, Pisces, not going to lie, but um, I feel like you could be kind of like getting on to the next step. So, you know, if you've been hoping to make more money or if you've been hoping to get a better job, that's kind of like the feeling I get here is that there's just something better. It's like the next step is coming in for you. I really like it. That's not what these cards mean. Uh, if you don't know, I read intuitively. I don't necessarily read the meanings of the cards, but um, that's kind of what I feel for you here. Uh, I do feel like you could be attracting a lot of good stuff though. It's like, this is definitely something you've been waiting for. Uh, even in your next card here in the present position, you have this eight of wands and that eight of wands is like quick success and quick movement. So I, I, I feel like in the present, it's like you've been waiting in the past with this three of wands, but right now, or maybe starting this week, it's like you're going to see faster results. Uh, for others, by the way, I feel like this was you like waiting for someone. Just even in this first diagonal right here, we have the Knight of Cups and the Empress. The Knight of Cups is like a knight in shining armor. The Empress, you know, of course, is just a card of abundance, kind of like uh, coming out of the cold as well. It's a card of going from winter to spring. So definitely a card of improvements. But like in love, you could have dealt with like a tricky person or a trickster in the past with this magician card. And this also says like you were maybe waiting on a person here. And I say that also because you have this three of swords here and the page of cups. Yeah, it's like maybe someone, I do feel like someone broke your heart in the past, Pisces, or someone could have broke your heart in the past. So sorry, <laughs> coffee's done, Pisces. But I feel like for some of you, you were dealing with someone who broke your heart in the past. Page of cups, I do feel like this is like new love. And look, it's funny that I said the thing about steps for you, Pisces, because it's like you go... Um, you have steps here as well. It's like you have the page to the knight right here. So I feel like for some of you, even in love, it's like you could be getting into a relationship that's much more significant than what anything you have been in in the past. Uh, next, you have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone was a player. I feel like I, I almost feel like saying someone definitely wasted your time, Pisces. Like maybe they kind of like led you on in some ways, or maybe they played games and things like that is kind of what I'm getting here. Nine of Wands is a card of a player. This doesn't really necessarily feel like player energy to me. To me, this feels more just like someone wasting time. Uh, so I feel like for some of you, someone definitely wasted your time. I almost feel like they were, this is going to sound really weird, but I almost feel like they were on a seesaw, like going back and forth, back and forth. So I feel like for some of you, it could be someone who is like kind of like going back and forth, back and forth in their head. Could have been any sign. You do have a lot of water here. Uh, could have been another Pisces. Could have been a Taurus. Could have been... <laughs> Uh, any other water sign. So it could have been any sign that was kind of like wasting your time here. But I definitely feel like someone was kind of like playing, playing with your heartstrings here with this three of swords is what's popping into my head. So I feel like you've been dealing with that energy. Uh, for others, by the way, again, this could be like trying to make money off of something you enjoy with the Nine of Wands. And I do feel like a lot of Pisces right now are probably working on like more uh, passions as far as making money is concerned. So I do feel like a lot of you could start to see this right here in your present position. You have the Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Love it. And this is definitely like good news coming in for you. So I feel like there's good news coming in, probably based off of something that you've been working on for a very long period of time. This could be like a business or a business idea. It could be some sort of passion project here with these cards. So I like to see that. For others, uh, definitely this whole row here could be new love coming in for you. You show up here as the high priestess at the bottom, but you have this knight of cups, which is like a knight in shining armor. Uh, I feel like if you are with your knight in shining armor, if you have that person in your life, you end with the star here in this same row. And the star is like wish fulfillment. Whatever you are hoping happens in a love situation will happen is basically what that star is saying. 
So I like that, but to me, this is like quick success. I also feel this is good news. The Page of Pentacles to me can represent anxiety about you know information that you're waiting to hear about. So if you are like waiting to hear news on something, the Page of Pentacles to me can represent feeling anxious about the news or being anxious about whether or not the news will come in in the first place. Um, but again, both of these cards are good news. So I feel like there's definitely uh, good news coming in for you here, Pisces. Uh, next, you have the Knight of Cups here and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is good. more good news <laughs> is what I'd say. Ace of Swords is like, I, I, for some of you, I do feel like this could be a truth coming in that just makes you feel good. So again, if you're dealing with this like person who wasted your time, they could be coming in with an apology, something like that. It doesn't feel like a major energy to me. So um, I would just say it's probably like a minor energy. Uh, for most of you, I really feel like this is just some sort of victory in love. Uh, Knight of Cups is like, you know, a knight in shining armor, that ace of swords could be feeling like you found the one. It, that's not really what the card means, but it's a card of a victory, so I feel like there could be a victory here. For others, this to me is a laser-like focus, especially this whole diagonal that we have going on right here. Magician, three wands, now we have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. This to me is like saying what you focus on, you will manifest. Pisces, in the daily readings, it's crazy. You get the Magician every single day practically. Not every day, but you know, quite often. So, And I'm always saying to you, you can have whatever you want. Uh, I just feel like you have to focus on whatever it is that you do want with this Ace of Swords. I feel like once you have like a dedicated focus, focus. Like, I feel like dedicated focus, let's put it this way. I feel like dedicated focus is going to be your best friend. So it's like, if you have, if you're thinking about like starting 10 different businesses, I would say just pick one. Uh, I don't think you, that that means you can't have all 10, by the way, in the future. I feel like in the future, if you wanted to have all 10, you could. But for right now, I feel like the energy is saying dedicated focus is going to lead to the most success. Nine of Cups is your dreams. Now, this doesn't even have to be a business. It could be, maybe you have a dream to have a perfect relationship. Same thing. It's like, it just says, focus on creating that and <laughs> and you will have it. You will have your victory. Uh, next, you have the High Priestess here and the Eight of Pentacles. I love it. Very good for you, Pisces. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is mastering a craft and putting in the work. This is you mastering your intuition. You even have the Two of Swords here in the future. That Two of Swords to me can represent, you know, it can represent difficult decisions or, you know, kind of having, needing to make a choice. But at the same time, it's like an intuitive decision. Uh, she's making an intuitive choice. So I feel like a lot of you could be just learning to trust your intuition here. Uh, for others, I feel like you are kind of like putting the work in. This to me says something has a lot of potential. I always say High Priestess to me is a card of potential. And the Eight of Pentacles is kind of like a card of a small details of something uh, needing to put in the work to make something a success. So I feel like some of you have to put in the work here. I feel like for some of you, this is like material success on the horizon. This is like but to me, there are, this would say there's something missing here, Pisces. I'd say if you're like working on a business, working on a job, anything like that, to me, this would kind of say maybe there is, you are not as successful as you want to be yet. I feel like there's just like one more missing piece. Eight of Pentacles is kind of a tricky card because it kind of represents like something ba very basic missing from something. This could also be in your love life as well. It's like maybe there is just like some little tiny thing missing. Uh, I feel like you need to, number one, trust your intuition on what could be missing. I'm, al I'm also getting like a mentor as well. So I feel like for some of you, you could be seeking out a mentor. You need to seek out a mentor for that like missing piece of the puzzle. Uh, this does not require money, by the way, Pisces. I would say that we don't necessarily need to go to a person to have them as mentor. We could watch YouTube videos. There, you know, there there are plenty of people who are very successful on YouTube. There are videos of people who have been very successful since the beginning of time on YouTube. So this could just represent like seeking out the information. Again, high priestess is mysteries. So I feel like you need to dig into some mysteries here. I feel like you just like you're so. I feel like saying you are so close, <laughs> Pisces, to something very successful. I mean, even look, you have the star, the empress. This is like total abundance uh, coming in here. But it's like you, with these two cards here, they're not bad cards. They're definitely good cards, but they still kind of represent just like a missing puzzle piece. Uh, next, you have the two of swords here. Pisces and the sun. Love it. Um, this is very obvious to me. Two of swords is like uh, struggling or agonizing over a decision is what's popping into my head for you, Pisces. So I feel like you could be having a very difficult time making a choice. This two of swords says, trust your intuition. Not only that, the sun comes in and it's like shining a light on the obvious choice. This to me says like, you know, and you're Pisces. So you know the right choice to make. I feel like you just need to like trust your intuition and also pay attention to the obvious signs. For others, this could just say that you are making the decision and the sun is just like a celebration because you're making the choice. Uh, next, you have the star Pisces. How crazy is this? Like uh, last week, I titled your reading like fame and fortune or something like that. I literally, I literally feel like some of you Pisces could be becoming famous, literally. And you have the sun and the star. Again, I mean, 
you know, these are cards of like fame and fortune. You also could just be becoming famous, like not necessarily famous, but you could be becoming very well known in work or business or maybe in your town where you live. It could be any something like that. Uh, it could also be like, you know, maybe you're starting a YouTube channel and maybe 10,000 people start following you or something like that. You know, it, I mean, is that really fame? Probably not, but you know, it's maybe famous for whatever it is that you're interested in, right? So I feel like some of you could just be coming, uh, be becoming very well known. I feel like this is you, this King of Cups. I feel like you are, like this whole row here, to me, screams happiness, this whole row. So I feel like for some of you, it's just like the happiness is what is, it's because you're happy. I feel like you're attracting the positive energy. So I would say maintain your positivity here, Pisces. Uh, for others, this to me would definitely say like feed the, I feel like saying feed the uh, the positive side of yourself. It's like I'm getting the whole thing about the two wolves, you know, the two wolves that are inside of you, which one you feed, either the one that, you know, the positive one or the negative one. So I feel like you need to feed the positive wolf inside you here, Pisces. We'll say the positive shark, right? inside of you with this star card. So I feel like you need to put energy into positive things, not negative things in general. I feel like it's very important at this time. Uh, so that's what I'd say there. Uh, for others, I definitely feel like this could be love. Again, this whole middle row here, you have like a heartbreak in the past, but in the present, you have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Could be like a Knight in Shining Armor. Definitely could be a water sign for you. I'd say if it's not water, it's probably Earth is what I'd say, Pisces. Could be fire, but you know, this is just a general reading, but I'd be focusing on, um, you know, kind of the two things that stand out to me is water, Earth, and Leo, which uh, Leo showed up for you last week as well. Uh, so definitely some sort of wish coming in here uh, uh, as well. I like it, but could also be left like fulfillment in love in the future. Uh, finally, you have the Empress here in the Nine of Wands. I feel like you're not giving up on something. I feel like not giving up is going to lead to abundance for you, Pisces. Like even if we go here, it's like you've been trying to start something new with this magician and this Three of Wands. This could be a new relationship, new business, new anything. That Three of Wands is like saying you've been waiting for the perfect moment uh, to get things going or you have been taking your time to you know get things to start. Then we move to the present here. You have this Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. It's like you're heading towards some sort of victory here, but something that is a dream with that Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is looking into the cup. He's like dreaming. He's fantasizing. He is looking for something where he can be successful. Nine of Wands says you're not giving up. And the Empress says doing that is going to lead to total abundance and improvements. And again, this whole future row here is like you becoming famous. <laughs> so I feel like you're like sitting pretty here, Pisces. Yeah. I feel like you just have to make the choice here. There's definitely an element of needing to commit here, Pisces, because of the two of pentacles. Like, and also there's two of swords. And like I was saying earlier, needing to pick like one thing to focus on right now, I feel like that will lead to some sort of success for you here. Yeah, all your, look, look, look at this, all, all choice cards, right? Chariot, needing to make a choice, but needing to take control. Two of wands, same thing. Two of wands is taking your personal power back, needing to make a choice, but it's like a choice to move forward into the future. Chariot is definitely a victory. So uh, amazing reading, Pisces. I like this a lot. So I feel like there's a lot of success for you here, as always. I feel like I do feel like it's a good year for Pisces. So I like that. But anyway, thank you, Pisces. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And definitely enjoy your week.